Question 10. Write the missing numbers to make these calculations correct. Well, on the first one, we've got 200 multiplied by mystery number, subtract 200, gives us 200. Well, let's try and write some sort of number machine to describe what's going on. So, for the first one, we are starting with 200. We are then multiplying by a mystery number. I'm going to write that on this arrow here. Then, the next operation we're carrying out is we are subtracting 200. So, this goes on this arrow. And then out pops the answer, which is 200. So, I'm going to pop that out the other side there. So, we've got these two operations going on. We're multiplying by a mystery number and we're subtracting 200. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to try and reverse these operations. So, we'll try and work backwards from this 200 to get back to what this mystery number is here. So, the reverse of this operation, reverse of subtract 200 would be to add 200. The reverse of multiplying by a mystery number would be to divide by a mystery number. And then we would get back to this 200 here. So, now let's try and work it through backwards. So, 200 add 200 would be 400. So, I'll write that at the end of this arrow. 200 add 200 is 400. 400 divide by something has got to give me 200. Well, what is 400? How many times do you divide 400 by to get 200? Well, 400 divided by 2 would be 200. So, this has got to be 2 here. 400 divided by 2 is 200. So, if this is divided by 2, then this one here going forwards must be times by 2. Therefore, the mystery number would have to be times by 2. 200 times by 2 is 400, and 400 take away 200 is indeed 200. So, that appears to work. Now, let's do a similar sort of thing for the second one. 100 take away a mystery number. It's all in a bracket. And remember, brackets you've got to do first. Then times by 100 will give you 100. So let's try and do a similar strategy. So start with the 100. This 100 here. We are taking away a mystery number. So let's call that take away question mark. And the next operation on another arrow, we are multiplying by 100 which is this bit here, and then out pops the answer, which is 100. Now we're going to reverse it backwards. So, the reverse of multiply 100 is divide by 100. The reverse of subtract a mystery number is to add on that same mystery number. Now we need to just work it through and see if it helps us. So, 100 divide by 100. How many 100s go into 100? Well, that's just 1. So, by this point we get to 1. And one add on some mystery number gives us a hundred. Well, what is the what do you have to add on to one to get back to one hundred? It's going to be ninety nine. So it looks like this mystery number is ninety nine. One add ninety nine would indeed get you back to one hundred. So if this is add ninety nine, above it going the other way must be subtract ninety nine. So it looks as though this answer here is ninety nine. Let's just work it through to check. 100 take away 99 is 1, so this whole bracket here comes to be 1. 100 take away 99 is 1, and 1 times 100 is indeed 100. So the final answer is 99 in this mystery number box here.